Hi everybody and welcome to new tutorial from Easy Geek Tube. Today's lesson going to show you how to factory reset MacBook Air or MacBook Pro the M1 version. I found it actually confusing in the web, so I decided to make a uh, like a quick tutorial to show you guys how to uh, tackle that, as well as how to fix the issue of no user authorization available. All right, let's start our tutorial today. So we need to press Command R and the power button simultaneously and we keep holding them until we see loading startup options. Then we release. Just keep waiting for a bit. Alright, we go to the options now. And we wait a bit here for it to load. We select the language. We proceed. In my case, I'm not selling the MacBook. This is just a tutorial, so I haven't logged out of my accounts. But if you guys are selling the MacBook, you have to log out from everything before doing so. Then you go to Disk Utility. And then you go to Macintosh HD. And then you select erase here. That will be automatically populated. You just need to erase. You wait until it says done. And after that, you you close it. And you go back to uh, this reinstall the Mac OS. You wait. You continue now. You wait a little bit for it to load. Going to fast it now. Almost there. You agree to the terms. And then you select the Macintosh. It will show you the new user available for authorization. So you quit, you go back to the disk utility. You go to the data. And then here on the minus, you delete it. This is as per the Apple support. You just need to wait for it to delete. Here we go. Now you close it. Then you wait a little bit. It's going to activate your MacBook. Almost there. Also, you guys, if uh, you want to sell your MacBook or restore your MacBook, you make sure first to uh, like upload all your documents to your iCloud or to your any uh, like uh, any online uh, drive to make sure you don't lose anything of your important information before like erasing everything from the MacBook. All right, and now it should go fine. Here we go. Now you go back to reinstall the Mac OS. Continue. Now you should no longer get this and no user available for authorization after deleting it. All right, here we go. And you just keep waiting for it until downloading. Thank you so much for you guys for watching.